So it is February 15th, and I am with the boys from All Metal Militia. We are heading down to Connecticut to get out of the snow band of the Connecticut River Valley, and it is absolutely beautiful here. We're in Ken Dick's shuttle service here. Say hi, Kendall. We got Joe along with the ride, and of course, Jim's here with us, and heading south. We brought all of our equipment. We're not really sure what we're going to be getting into. We just know that there's going to be a lot of land to search. And um, there's history, revolutionary, war history, um, early settlements. I mean, you name it. The weather back at home has just been uncooperative for us diggers. Two degrees this morning. Like two degrees this morning. It's rained. It's snowed. We've had ice storms, wind storms. Every difficulty have. There has been a couple of times that we've gotten out. Um, actually, I can throw up a couple of pictures real quick. We did go out into a snowstorm. Uh, it was like the second or third snowstorm of the year, and we were able to pull out a few different coppers. I got my first ever Massachusetts State copper. I got the Drape Bust Large Scent. Kendall actually dug a half real. He also got a matron head. Was that a matron head that you dug, the large scent? Classic head. Classic head. Uh, so Indian head. the Indian head penny and yeah, a bunch of other cool relics and everything uh, before the snow actually came in and filled everything in and pretty much called it quits for us diggers. We decided to uh, all gather up here, strap all of our stuff into uh, Kendall's van and that's south. We have about another 20 minutes or so before we get to our final destination here and um, be able to have at it so stay tuned and hopefully this adventure turns up some awesome finds so we've made it and as you can tell there's absolutely zero snow here, which is very, very cool. And we're just absolutely loving it. Jim is right behind me digging. Kendall's over here digging. Joe's right behind me coming up the flank here. And uh, we don't know really what we're getting into, but we're gonna give it heck. And let's see what kind of history actually turns up today. First target of the day. It isn't anything spectacular, I don't believe. It's an old spike, even though it's not a shiny relic or any kind of war relic or anything. Uh, it is something. It's definitely a lot better than sitting at home wishing I was digging. Not bad for the first target. Let's see what else is out here. Well, here's something kind of odd, just sitting out on top of the ground. Piece of glass. I'm gonna have to show this to Jim see what uh what he thinks of it I, never I have absolutely no idea i'm not a bottle guy so bring it over to him and see what he says Boy. yeah i mean i know you're the glass and bottle person so what do you think that is bud is that modern or is that oh. older the bottom of a big uh mason jar yeah probably a ball how old probably do you think that is the 20s yeah just laying yeah, on the ground nice. over there Got yeah. number four on it. They usually put numbers on them. That's what that's for? Yeah, it's probably an old bar, or it could be an old ball or an old mason. Uh, like a jug? Yeah, it's a fruit jar. Fruit jar. Well, yeah, it was just laying on the top over there, so. Wow. Yeah. You usually find them around house sites. Are you having any luck? Uh, nails. Just nails? Just square nails, round nails? signals so far. Are they square or round? 
Uh, I can't even tell. They're old, but they're pretty deteriorated. Yeah. Probably regular. All right, bud. I'll let you get back at it. All right. Thanks. Well, it's nothing spectacular, but it's something. It's an old spoon bowl. There were people around. We'll keep at it, and maybe there's coins. We'll have to see. So you just came upon something, huh, buddy? Yep, nice colonial button, or at least 1800s. Can I see that for a minute so I can get it out of the sheet? Got some here. design on the back. I'm huh? guessing it's probably a Waterbury or a Connecticut-made button. It would make sense. Yeah. yeah. It's, everything's right in here. It's get it's gotten older every step I've taken through here. Cool. Let's swing some more and see what else we can come up with. Yeah. I think Joe's on a nice relic, too. I'm going to head over and see what he has. Cool. What about you, buddy? I had a silver-plated uh, spoon bowl. That's cool. There's some age to that, yeah. huh? Yeah. It's, uh, uh, silver-plated spoon bowl. Man, these spoon bowls are huge. It's just the yeah. amount of food they probably ate back then. Think about the calories they used to burn with all the farming the they did. Yeah. Put that in my mouth. <laughs> what else did you get? I th you said you had a pocket watch? Yep. A piece of a pocket watch earlier on. Is it silver? No, it's just a... Uh... Oop, it got stolen uh -oh. out. <laughs> Take that. Oh, yeah. It was anything brass? Yep. That's cool. Yeah. Whoops. I got some of the mechanisms yeah. falling out in my hand there. So. Yeah. Uh, well. Cool. Thanks. And you're on the relics too. Yeah. I got to start finding some stuff. Poking away on this lawn and see what else we can come up with. That's not a barber. <laughs> what are you doing over here in the pricker bushes, Jim? Your hat is all messed up, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an artist with your hat on that way. He's got something though. Yeah, I got some kind of. Coinage? I don't know what kind of coin it is, but it's a coin. You think so? Could be a foreign coin. Well. You think so? I had so. Uh, they don't make. They don't make stuff that yeah. round. It's not a coin usually. It almost looks like there's some writing coming through the middle there, but. I recheck, always recheck your holes, because I got something else that rang the same. This rang up the same. And that's that. really thin. What is that? This rang up the same as that, and that was the same hole. Can you see what that? Let me see that. I mean, I don't know. It's Maybe it's a token. Uh, like it's kind of light. It's copper. It could be copper. It's really, doesn't it feel light? Yeah. I don't think. I don't know. Cool. I don't think so. <laughs> Look at that thing. There's, there's, it's white. I don't think that's a coin. Oh, it's white. It's a coin. Oh, the toothbrush? Can I see that again? No, I, I'm going to dry out. Yeah. Maybe it's a love, Maybe a newer... Maybe it's a love token a day late. Maybe Man, that hat know. is really looking good on you, buddy. It's about to fall off. You know that, Jim. <laughs> Let me uh, hold on here. Oh, that. There you oh, go. Don't worry about that. That's there we just, go. That's, there we that's go. a look you there can't miss. You <laughs> <You're not laughs> good job, buddy. I thought it was going to be old, old silver. On silver. I'll take a forty-three. Oh. Or a forty-two. Can I see that for a second, bud? Yeah. Well, Kendall's the first to hit silver down here in Connecticut, so it's not very old, but hey. That's silver. Silver, silver, gold. Silver, gold. silver. He was saying that this was all used to be farm. It was his family's up until a few years ago. He said there used to be lots of workers and draft horses in and out of here all through the early 1900s. And it's been around obviously a lot longer than that. So awesome. That's cool. And then this is his uncle's house. And he said we could do the back of his uncle's yard too. So our permission just keeps getting bigger. Connecticut wasn't a bust. That's great. Awesome. I was a little worried I was going to bring you guys down here. And it was, it was going to turn into like... Digging pop tops and bottle cans and bottle dude, cans. it's awesome down here. We're digging. That's all that matters. And we're swinging down here in this backyard still, and uh, there's some relics popping up here and there. Nothing spectacular, however, right here, out of that hole, just popped this. I believe that's a lily, perhaps. And uh, unfortunately, 
it's folded over and as you can tell it's gonna break right off there if I move it anymore so it was packed with dirt I cleaned it out and uh, I was left with that so I'm gonna try not to damage it any more than it already is and hopefully when I get it home I can repair it maybe straighten it out a little bit put some glue on there and have a nice little decorative piece I'm not really sure what that came off of but maybe a piece of furniture or part of a hair brooch or I don't know well, I'm not gonna waste any more time I'm gonna throw this in the bag try to keep it as safe as I can so that doesn't break and let's get on to the next target what are you on Jim I don't know, I don't know if it's a, it's a ring definitely but it's missing the stone it's pretty lightweight what's that costume you're wearing? Let's see it real quick. Probably is. It rang up a 12, so it's a mid tone. I wonder if the stone's in there. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good, good luck. Yeah, I, I think Joe's right. A, a nickel or gold or a bottle cap. Costume, but hey. I don't know if it is or not. I don't think that's gold. It's it's really light, but if it didn't oh, ring. You gotta up. clean it up, but it's been down there for 100 years. Unless, yeah. unless the stone is in there, no? I don't think definitely so. definitely had a. A diamond in it. Yeah, I got it right here, bud. Jim, you're a diamond in the rough. Jim's a diamond. <laughs> So we're back in the Ken Dig shuttle service here. Yeah. And uh, a gentleman came down and started pruning, and we weren't really getting into too many more relics, so it got really noisy really quick. And anyway, he was able to tell us about a spot a little up the way, which we're going to drive to, hence why we're getting into the shuttle. And apparently, what was it, Kendall? A house that was there two Colin, years ago? Colin said there was a house that was at least 100 years old. It got, it got torn down a, uh, like a couple years ago. So that's where we're gonna head. It's wide open, there's apple trees, there's a big field, and clearly we can dig pretty much anywhere right now. It's definitely warming up. So no. that's where we're heading, and when we get there, I'll show you around. Yours. Hey, Joe. So if you find something that's really deep, you know how to operate one of those, don't you? Sure do. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll just point you on the target. Maybe we'll find a dump site somewhere. <laughs> So the guys are starting to dig, but uh, I just wanted to give you a quick little view. That's apparently where the home site was, right there in this bald patch. Kendall's already way up there, Joe's down here on the side yard, and I believe Jim is out there somewhere. There's a whole line of apple trees right back there on the, uh, the knoll, so I'm going to get to digging, and I'll get back at you with the first relic that pops up. So while I've been swinging and swinging and swinging first actual relic well piece of a relic which i believe it to be is this right here i'm 98 percent certain that's part of an old pocket watch the innards we've been digging a lot of trash through here so maybe perhaps i guess i'll never really know however it's something and it's at least getting my hopes up a little bit about this area. So I'm going to put it away and head on up over the knoll here and see what I can find up that way. And not too far away from where I think it was a piece of a pocket watch, just popped this. My first thought when I saw this was a wrench handle. It rang up very, very high. But after closer examination here, see that right there, that little strip of metal it looks like it's busted off there well it is busted off i think that was a uh, a butter knife now, i could be very wrong but again i'm no expert that's the first thing that pops into my head perfect size for it and you can just imagine the blade extending off of there and who knows farmer was out here eating lunch snapped off the butter knife blade tossed it aside 
Kind of neat. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but that's what I'm going with. Put it away and uh, keep on heading up the hill here. Right out of that hole, just pop that. And you know what that is? I'm thinking it's part of scissors. You know, the that part, but I could be wrong, but that's the first guess and probably the only guess that I have for what that is. So I've just worked from down around the pond and I just kind of zigzagged all the way up through. I didn't really find a whole lot. So now I'm at the top and as you can see, the guys are down there. I don't know what they found. Uh, they were just all huddling together. I don't know if they were talking about moving away from this spot and going to another. I mean, there's plenty of land around here. So today again, it's not about finding a bunch of solid relics. It's just about getting out with friends, enjoying some beautiful weather. Completely night and day compared to what it's like where we're from. So none of us are complaining. It is kind of a slow day relic wise, but there are some things being pulled out of the ground. And uh, I'm going to take a quick drink here. I'm going to collect my thoughts, figure out which direction that way I'm going to head and meet up with the guys and see if they found anything worth staying around for. I'd like to see. You haven't been doing so hot down here either, huh? I just came from the top of the hill and there was nothing up there, but I saw you guys gathering a little bit and uh the surface fine. Yeah. It's a twenties or thirties medicine bottle. Yep. But it's shiny, it was right on the surface. You don't usually see this stuff right on the top of the ground. Did you find anything else over here or just that stuff? Uh I found over here I found modern pennies and stuff, but you got a musket ball over this way? Hey, yeah, this is over there. I see that here. Uh, big, big boy. Yep. What is it, Claire and Charlotte? That's cool. This was down in the lower site. Shot. Oh, you picked it up before we came up here. musket ball, but it shot. He's got cool. a musket ball, you guys. Musket balls. Cool. Musket that balls for days. Cold. All right, Kendall. Hey. I'm going to loan this to you. Three times she's doing the wheel trying to leave down. It. It's like a heart. Hibernia. Right? Is it check a out, Hibernia? Check out the east. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Hibernia <laughs> copper. You want to get a picture? Iri it's an Irish Irish half cent. <laughs> Waited all day. Hold on, I get it. Brian's good luck. <laughs> Brian's good luck. Look at the Guinness Look at that heart thing. thing. What's the back side I have on it? Wow. A picture of King George if it... If it uh, if there's anything there, yeah. Oh, look at oh, that! Oh man, buddy. look at that thing. Probably has numbers right here. Seventeen. That's a one seven there, and then there's two other numbers there that we're not going to see until we get a toothpick and pick it a little bit. Is that your first one today? Oh, I mean, waited for a good time. Found, you have this big oh, old crowd found, around found, you. Found, <laughs> awesome. Look at that thing, man. That's beautiful, Kendall. You guys want it? Wow. Yeah, man. We're gonna. We're gonna take that barn and we're gonna Irish half penny. Are you really? That's seventeen yeah. hundreds. He saw the date there as you heard. So very cool. We've been waiting all day for something like this and boom, there it happened. So trips obviously worth it. Good time, good friends. And uh this just makes it all that sweeter. Very cool find for Kendig. Hey Jim. We have to get going, bud. Okay. Unfortunately, we got to end your day. Right on the edge yeah. of this field here, just loaded. Yeah, you got a bunch of relics and things. Oh yeah. Anything significant or just like pieces of stuff? I don't even know. Buckles. Really? Horse tack. You know, everything was cop. Every, a lot of it was all high tone. Unfortunately, so. there's responsibilities waiting at home for some people. So hey, we'll do the right first. thing. We'll get out of here so no one's late, and uh, we can always come back. So. I hope so. Did you have a good day? Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I think you're on the last hole of the day, Kendall. You gotta yeah, make it I mean, a good one. I get a really good target on the walk to the van in hundred yards from here, but <laughs> basically, I should have dug my last target a little while ago. Yeah, it's been a good day. Well, what do yeah. you got? Is that copper? It's like some kind of light bulb. There would have been a glass on the front of it. It's totally a light bulb or something of some sort, but trash yeah. anyway. Oh well. Hey, it's been a good day down here, huh? Yeah, man. How awesome is it there's no snow? Yeah, it's been a great day for me and 
seems like Colin's happy for us to come back, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, there's plenty of land to come back to. Yeah. So. I dug a copper today. I dug a 1942 Washington. I dug that silver pocket watch back. Um, it's kind of it. You but, pretty much stole the show today, buddy. For sure, man. But <laughs> hey, you got us the permission and we couldn't be happier, so. Thanks a lot for getting us out today. It was well worth the trip down here, and I guess that's going to be a wrap for the day. For sure, unless I find something on my walk out. Let's see. Hey, Joe. We're headed home, bud. Yes, we are. How was your day? It was fun. Yeah. Got out digging, so that always makes it a good day, hanging out with you guys. I'm invited to come back down sometime, so if we keep getting hammered with snow and ice up there, we're going to have to make a trip back. Yeah, for sure. So, you, all so, in all, you had a good day? Good day. Bunch of junk junk and more junk but yeah. good day it's how it Still. goes sometimes that's right get back on track soon yeah good. well the day's over we're heading home and we've got quite a drive ahead of us but uh it's been a great day digging with my buddies from all metal militia i'm going to put the links to everybody that you saw today down below this video so go ahead and check that out i'm also going to throw the link in for all metal militia's facebook page so if you're not a follower of that yet swing on over there and uh Add yourself to our group. We, I want to thank Kendall again. Um, thank you, he Kendall. has been absolutely epic when it comes to getting us permissions and getting us out together as a group. So you'll see plenty more of us coming up in the spring and into the summer this year, 2020. New year, new finds, and uh, hopefully some cool adventures to go on. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so below. And just like always, Happy hunting.